Well, I have artifacts of Mars. And I just did one art, one post on a barbarian from Huffington Post. Here's another barbarian it was even worse. Impeachment and removal office are only the first steps for America to be redeemed. Donald Trump must be prosecuted for treason and, if convicted in the court of law, executed. The name of the slime ball is Jason Fuller. This uh, this is archived. This is a cached uh, article because apparently people got on him about this, which they should. Donald Trump has been president of the United States for just shy of six months now. I think most of us among the electorate knew his presidency would be a relative disaster. You can go to go climb a tree. But I'm not sure how many of us expected the catastrophe our nation now faces. What catastrophe? What are you talking about, you moron? Sad thing is, I don't even have to run through a laundry list of what I'm doing. And say the litany of sources. Any quick internet search or flip of TV, the credible news source will run down most recent scandal before the next commercial break. All I get out of them is hate. And it goes on and on about what this dirtbag doesn't like about Trump. There's very little doubt left that Trump and his team collude with members of the Russian government. You haven't provided any evidence at all to try to rig the election in his favor, even though the Russians did not outright hack the voting process itself. Well, we may not have yet 100% incontrovertible contributable proof of his collusion. The administration attempts to hide previous contacts with the Russians. Their willingness to blatantly lie about the communications and the contents of Trump's meetings with FBI, former FBI Director James Comey are all incriminating on their own. Oh, that's BS. And the interference of the Russian government to circumvent our democratic procedures for electing President of the United States is an act of war. So, so now the Russians have comm committed an act of war because Donald Trump got elected. This is a twisted, diseased individual. There's no other way to characterize this. This was an all-out attack by the government of Russia on our democratic process, the very foundation of our country. This elevates Trump's simple obstruction of justice to high treason under the Constitution. We can also argue that Trump's continued resistance on travel ban he's not even disguised his intent anymore based on his recent tweets. So what's the purpose of assisting ISIS, which is arguably the nation's biggest enemy right now? That's so... <sighs> doesn't serve ISIS's purpose. Trump's campaign rhetoric and s subsequent travel ban orders against Muslim population services valuable recru recruitment tool for the Islamic State by giving them credibility. Unbelievable. They're going to recruit no matter who's in there. ISIS' whole narrative is that Western power seek to destroy Islam. Trump's willingness to wage what amounts to constitutional jihad and soul of Islam makes their entire case for them. Uh, and this goes on and on, but, um, you can find this in the uh, Huffington Post web cache, but this dirtbag is calling for uh, the execution of a president. Uh, so when does the search warrant get served on him? That's what I want to know. This is so. This is such a twisted, diseased 
individual and the pulse is such so twisted and diseased and I'm not even gonna bother with any of more of it. I'm wondering when you uh you know, when the Secret Service goes and knocks on his door. So here you have the Huffing Huffington Pulse, two different people two different scumbags work for them and both of the scumbags are uh celebrating violence. It's not even counting if they had if they had the scumbag celebrating that New York City play. At least that New York City play is fantasy. Based on an actual event, but it's fantasy. But here you have scumbags who want to kill the president and are celebrating the killing of lawmakers and other people. And they're both writers for the Huffington Post. That other one that I mentioned, who, Jesse Ben, who didn't think that the shooting was very effective. Unbelievable. I'm our facts of Mars. I gotta get moving, but my blood is boiling right now. Thanks for watching.